The Wind in the Willows is a classic children's novel by Kenneth Graham that intertwines the adventures and camaraderie of anthropomorphic animals living beside the river in the English countryside. The main characters are Mole, Ratty, Badger, and the flamboyant Toad, each of whom exhibits distinctive personalities and quirks that drive the plot of the novel. The story begins in spring when Mole, fed up with spring cleaning, decides to abandon his work and explore the world above ground. Soon he encounters Ratty, a relaxed and friendly water vole, who introduces Mole to the ways of the river and the joys of messing about in boats. The two quickly form a strong bond, and Ratty invites Mole to live with him. They embark on a series of excursions, enjoying the simple pleasures of life on the river. Mole and Ratty then visit the kindly but reclusive badger, who lives in the wild wood, a character who at first seems intimidating but is actually a wise and helpful ally. Badger is a figure of stability and wisdom and implores the importance of honor and tradition. The most impulsive and extravagant of the friends is Mr. Toad of Toad Hall, wealthy and enthusiastic but prone to obsessive fads and reckless behavior. Toad's latest obsession is motor cars, and soon his reckless driving results in numerous accidents and chaos. Eventually, his infatuation with motor cars spirals out of control when he steals a car and ends up in prison after being sentenced by a stern judge. While Toad is in prison, his ancestral home, Toad Hall, is taken over by weasels, stoats, and ferrets from the wild wood who plan to turn it into their own stronghold. The loyal friends, Ratty, Mole, and Badger, upon hearing of Toad's misfortune and the takeover of Toad Hall, band together to devise a plan to rescue their friend and reclaim his home. Meanwhile, charitable and remorseful in prison, Toad befriends the jailer's daughter, who helps him escape disguised as a washerwoman. His escape is fraught with comical hardships. He embarks on a tumultuous journey by train, steals a horse, hitches a ride on a barge, and endures the scorn of the bargewoman due to his poor washing skills. However, through luck and his innate charm, Toad secures his freedom. Toad's journey leads to further adventures until he haphazardly finds himself at Ratty's home. Together with Ratty, Mole, and Badger, they plan a secret attack to retake Toad Hall. Employing strategy and surprise, they successfully ambush the weasels during a raucous party and recapture Toad Hall, driving out the intruders. The animals celebrate their victory, and Toad, who has matured through his experiences, is humbled and vows to reform. His friends remain skeptical but supportive of his intentions to become a new, more considerate individual. The novel closes with the animals gathered at Toad Hall, reinstated in its former glory, and the four friends' relationships stronger than ever, honoring the harmony they have established with each other and with their idyllic setting by the river. Throughout the novel, Graham explores themes such as the tension between adventure and home, the value of friendship, and the folly of pride and obsession. Through his depictions of English country life and his character's escapades, Graham creates a tale that is both a gentle satire of Edwardian England's social structure and a timeless story of adventure and camaraderie. The river and the wild wood are the two contrasting settings representing the comfort and warmth of home versus the unknown dangers of the outside world. The Wind in the Willows marvels at the wonders of nature as well as the fanciful yet very human qualities of the characters. With the whimsy typical of many children's tales of the time, the novel delivers moral lessons along with its light-hearted narrative. Toad's transformation is central, as his over-the-top indulgences and the problems they cause are juxtaposed against the steadfastness of his friends, who, despite his flaws, help him right his wrongs. Graham anchors the storyline in the peaceful and bucolic setting of the riverbank, which stands as a reminder of the virtue of returning to one's roots and the intrinsic beauty of the countryside. Throughout it all, the natural world is brought to life with loving description and an almost spiritual reverence, offering both a refuge and a theater for the book's events. Though intended for children, The Wind in the Willows echoes with themes that resonate with adult readers as well imparting a sense of nostalgia and a longing for simpler times that strike a chord regardless of age. Combining moments of gentle lyricism with lighthearted action and endearing character development, the novel stands as a beloved, multi-generational story 
that continues to delight and inspire over a century after its initial publication. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.